<laughs> Good evening, kittens. I hope I'm online yet. I hope you guys can see me. <laughs> I am prepared for this chat today. I'm prepared for this chat today. Okay, wait a second. I can hear myself twice now. I didn't think that through. Let's uh, oop, oop, oop. Oh, do I have to keep myself quiet? Shh, cat, cat, shh. There we go. <laughs> so there we are, kittens. Hey, nice to see you. Look, I'm prepared. I got a hot water bottle here and I got some tea here and I got a massive parcel from Germany here. And ooh, thank you for all the lights. Nice to see you guys. And this time I tried to make it a bit clever. I put my laptop down here so I can read your stuff. And yes, I put Alekin down as a mod because uh, last time he was very, very upset. Uh, there were a couple of rude people on the chat. Uh, and so Alekin is allowed to help out today. So, <laughs> well, you get like a special mark in front of it now. Your, your comments are going to stand out totally. So, there we go. It started. Are you all here, kittens? Are you all here? My, my water bottle smells bad. <laughs> so, yeah, kittens. Thank you very much to come here and play with me on this Friday night in Tokyo. Tokyo is getting colder and colder and colder. So, this is actually my, my plan here. Boop, 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 boop. Look at this unicorn. This is actually, this unicorn is my hot water bottle protector and it's kept me warm the last couple of nights. So, hey, um, first of all, uh, we're gonna unbox this parcel here from Germany and actually, I was lying. The picture you seen was a parcel of this size. That's actually not the parcel from my mom. I couldn't take a selfie with this parcel because it's so heavy. So I had to pretend the other parcel was the parcel from my mom. This is the parcel from my mom. And it's heavy, guys. It's so heavy, my mom paid 43 euros just in sending this. So this is very, very heavy. We're gonna unbox this together. I hope you're gonna enjoy the unboxing video. Here, I even got my geeky unboxing video glasses. I was gonna wear the other glasses, but they reflected, so. Let me just go without the glasses. It turned it, everything just blew on the screen just now. Here we go, we back. Lighting, lighting is a bit odd. Lighting is a bit odd today in the video. No, anyways, anyways. So. Kittens, I'm looking forward to spending this Friday evening together with you, looking forward to reading your comments and unboxing the stuff from Germany. So, Serenity Otaku's Life is here, Ku... 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 is here, uh, Dave Bellotti is here, Katharina Wheatley is here. Oh, you have those glasses, cool. Hey from Germany says the lazy dog, Daydreamer is here. Uh, Ser Sefar Sefazan is here, lots of people are here, uh, Julia is here, thank you all for being here, <laughs> I'm your mother-in-law Alekin, <laughs> so yeah, let's do this, let's do the unboxing together with me and the unicorn, and hopefully by the end of the video there will be no blood, and there will be no tears, and there will be no shards of glass sticking out of my finger, because that's what happened last time we had a live stream. Wasn't that lovely? So <laughs> hopefully this time there will be no injuries. Oh, and thank you for all the likes. I already got 18 likes. Kittens, you're amazing. Kittens. Kittens, you're amazing, says my pillow. Thank you for all the likes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> that just I Oh, 26 likes. Great. Come on, mama. So, you have the band-aids ready, okay, okay, that's good. Uh, injury shopping today. Oh, today was actually an interesting day. I was very torn of between doing a Tokyo Diary video for you guys or doing uh, this live stream, but I wanted to interact with you today, so I'm gonna do the live stream and I can talk a little bit about what happened and stuff. So, <laughs> so from Greece, we have hello from Greece today. Guys, where is everyone from? Please leave me your countries. Let me know where you're from so we know which countries are watching right now. This is always very exciting to see. The unicorn is very excited to see that. Look at the head going crazy like. Okay, where are you from guys? Where are you from? Italy, wow, Deutschland, haha. <laughs> Germany, yes, Germany, Österreich, Österreich. Oh, no, New York City, US, Louisville, Kentucky, Wales, Argentina, UK, Orlando, Ireland, Germany, Sweden, Tokyo, Melbourne, Germany, Germany, Sweden. This is exciting. Hey, Safazan, there you are. <laughs> Chile, Morocco, Jamaica. Woohoo! Houston, Texas, Houston. <laughs> Bonn, Germany, but UK resident. Cool. There we go. We got something in common there. So, loads of people from different countries are watching. Uh, guys, seriously, like, keep the comments going. If I can't read your comment first time, um, just send it again. Um, I'm trying to check your comments down below here so I can see all your comments as well. Yes! Well, Vietnam as well! Woo! This is exciting! 
Thank you very much for coming all the way. I met someone from Vietnam. One of my fans from Vietnam said hi to me in in Tokyo this week. That was pretty cool. Bayan Lendle, Neo Tokyo. <laughs> You're coming from the future. Good. So we have people from the future here. We have people from Tokyo watching, from Europe watching, from Chile watching, from everywhere watching. It's going to be a lovely, 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 lovely time. So, and, and people from Bavaria saying hi to each other. So, shall we start on my German care package? My German care package here, my mom sent it to me. And as uh, some of you pointed out, this is actually the very first time I actually mentioned something about my parents. How rare is that? So, let's do this. <laughs> let's, uh, let's open the parcel, shall we? So... I went unboxing and guess what I got? That doesn't work this time. So someone of you said I should sing. <laughs> okay, let's open this. Work right now, so maybe come round and go. Okay, Gothic, thank you very much for being here, even though you're at work. Let's see what my mom got me. During the oh, God, it's really heavy. I'm not exaggerating. This is super, super heavy. And this is stuff that I need to survive here. I'm very, very curious. So first of all, there's a little thing, and that's a secret now between you guys and me. What I find absolutely adorable, my mom always tries to, hey, twinkle lady, she tries to actually write English on the package. And oh, bless her soul, there's always at least one mistake in there, and the mistakes are so beautiful. So this time, I, you need to, you know how you write, need to write the contents down? And I looked at all of it, and it's like, oh, chocolate, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, hot water bottles, she's got that. Yep, okay, I'm not even getting that. And then she, <laughs> she wrote down neck lozenges. <laughs> and I was just like, I got neck lozenges. So I'm, I'm sure she meant throat lozenges, but she wrote down neck lozenges. Bless her soul. <laughs> so I think she must like look the English words up before she sends the parcels. So, so I got some neck lozenges in here, probably. So for my neck, you never know. <laughs> it's adorable, right? I love it when people get English slightly wrong. It's adorable. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I always, I find it adorable that at least in every parcel, there is a little bit of an English misspelling from my mom. I find it. I find that cute. I love it when people get English slightly wrong. I, st I get English slightly wrong. Let me tell you a thing. Sometimes I correct myself when I rewatch videos. I'm like, oh, your English is too bad. You just made that wrong. So, yes. Oh, yeah. Some of you found out there's my dirndl here in the back. You are right. That is my German traditional dirndl. I was wearing it this week. And for you entertainment, and because my mom sent something from Germany, I put my dirndl here. That is my traditional dirndl wear. That's what I wear when I go partying with the Germans on the Oktoberfest. There's a video, and which surprisingly has a lot of views by now. I, I checked back on it this week. Also, there's a cup of tea here, which shall get us through. So if you guys, if you don't have a cup of tea right now, feel free to like put the kettle on. Next time I put up a video, I'd like you all to grab yourself a nice drink so you can get through this together. So, mm. oh, that was way too hot. <laughs> okay, okay. No more injuries in my videos. No more injuries. Earl Grey tea. Good, good, good thing. Oh, <laughs> hit that like button for Kathy's mom. You're cute, Alekin. Thank you. <laughs> English is your second language. Been living in the US for 17 years. Wow. That's a long time. Coffee. We have coffee tea. We have, yep, kettle. Ronnie. Going. Wunderbar. So, anyways, we already had the first treat in this parcel, which is my mom's misspelling of English words. So my mom always sends me stuff that I sometimes request from her or sometimes she sends me things that I'm like, I didn't even know I needed that. And last time she sent me an item where I thought, I am never going to use that. And then suddenly I could use it. It suddenly made sense. It suddenly, it's like she knows. It's magical. It's magical. Anyway, so let's open this. <laughs> da -da! Where I hope nothing fell out. Oh, one thing fell out earlier when I checked it. Because she always, 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 <laughs> do you lose like that in? She always, always, always gives me a little postcard. So let's see. What is she writing? This is kind of embarrassing. Maybe I shouldn't read this. <laughs> okay, I'll let you guys vote whether you want to see what my mom wrote. But she always puts in a little postcard, like a positive postcard. Look at this. 
Isn't this cute? Like, what I never understand is she has one letter here, and then she has like the separate card on which she doesn't write anything. So I can still use the card, but she sends it to me as if it was my card. That's the thing that she does. I think it's cute. So, please read socks. Or please read. Oh, please read the card, you mean? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, for my beloved daughter, here are a, part, a, a couple of things uh, so you get well. And a, part, a couple of sweet things. So you be happy. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that she usually writes. Um, so, what else? Uh, and there's another. There's going to be another parcel with the uh, sweets for November that she's going to send me again. So, all the best for you and stay healthy. So yeah, that's the story. Was everyone saying no? Uh, <laughs> so. Da, da, da. That's the that's the letter. But let's get to the goods. Let's see what I got. Da, da, da. Is it in German or English? It's actually in German. I could have read this in German, then, but not only the German people understand. It's kind of slightly embarrassing. I'm gonna read this in German now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so there we go. Für mein geliebtes Töchterchen ein paar Sachen zum gesund bleiben und ein paar süße Sachen zum fröhlich sein. Ein zweites Paket mit leckeren Weihnachtskeksen werde ich dir Ende November zuschicken. Alles Liebe für dich und bleib schon gesund. Deine Mama. <lacht> oh, it's a mo. Ah, nihabo. Ste, ori. Go, hatte was ein mas. Ori hatte was ein mas. Yoshi des, ori hatte was ein mas. Nihabo. Go. Ah, kanji ga. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, that was my card. <laughs> oh, Celine, so nice. So yeah, that was my German. So yeah, you all heard my German. <laughs> uh, so, da, 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 da. thank you that you don't think that German is an ugly language. <laughs> so, oh, oh, right at the top, right at the top. Ta -da! That is a thing that I need. It's not only lint chocolate, it is actually a Christmas calendar. And you know what? In Japan, Christmas calendars are really hard to get. They don't really sell them in stores. So a Christmas calendar is a thing. If you have a friend in Japan who lives here, send them a Christmas calendar. Because there's nothing as sad as starting December and not having a Christmas calendar. So yeah. Advent calendar, advent calendar, that's how you call them. You're right, you you just corrected me, I read your comments. <laughs> so, so advent calendars. Guys, I, I think I'm really early for the advent calendars. Already, any one of you bought an advent calendar? Are there actually advent calendars in every country? I, I assume some countries don't have advent calendars, yeah. Anyways, that's a good thing. I need an advent calendar in December when it comes around. Ooh, someone has a cosmetic advent calendar. Jealous now. Time to eat one chocolate a day. Exactly. That's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> you don't see them in America? Really? You have them? You don't have them? Some people do. I think it's a lovely thing. So every day of uh, of December, you open one little door and there's a chocolate behind. <laughs> so yeah, in Italy you have the same. Good. Yutak Masuda, good evening. The UK has them. Hey, Suntory. So yeah, thank you all so much. So. That is that, that is that, that is that. Advent calendar. Um, many people don't have one yet. Uh, I, I like it. It's a little thing of celebrating December. I'm a very Christmassy person. I love Christmas very much. Christmas in Germany is like a lovely, lovely thing. And I hope this year for Christmas I can go home and see my family. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> I hope I can. <laughs> I like advent calendars with rubbish jokes in. They're, they're advent calendars with rubbish jokes in. That is so cool. I'd love to have one of those. Um, you need know, you to be early to buy them. I bought a chocolate one for myself and wish for a tea advent calendar. That's a really cool one as well. Advent calendars, way to go to send someone who lives in Japan, needs this stuff. I need this stuff. So, that's number one. Let's see what else I cannot live without this year. Oh, I can already see one thing and it's purple. It is purple and it's long. And yes, I miss Christmas markets, by the way. It's purple, and it's long, and it it's milk and chocolate! <laughs> it's huge! Oh, wow, I'm going to 
gonna be like fatty cats if I eat all of that in one go. So another thing from Germany, I love the German Milka chocolate. I'm not sure if you have them in your country, um, but yeah, Milka always has like a purple cow on it as well. <laughs> the moments I said it's purple and it's long, and lots of people stop watching. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not that kind of video. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's this one here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love, love, love chocolate. But look how. This is like huge. It's a huge chocolate bar. She, she's prepared me for winter. If I eat that, I have enough little squishy fat and padding to make it for the winter. That's probably the idea from my mom. So yeah, milk of chocolate, milk of chocolate. I hope you have that in your country because it's delicious. I know you can't eat chocolate Twinkly. Yay. One second, one sec. Mom just called. Huh, that was funny, because the person who just called me was my mom. If I break up for another second, that's probably because my mom will be calling. See, we kind of, uh, speaking of the devil, my mom was here and that happened. So <laughs> she, we must have been connected now. You know, I talk about my mom, she feels that, that's why she's calling me. She's calling me hands on my phone, in which I'm doing the live stream. So because of my mom, we were interrupted for a second. So yeah, yeah, don't worry. If, I, if I'm there, for, if I go for a second again, don't go away. Because it's probably just my mom calling, I'm going to be in a second again, again. Away again. Here again. You know what I mean. Anyways, you know what I'm going to do? If I can do that. No, I can't do that. I was going to just go like, eh, do the magic thing, you know, where you swipe up and you take off the internet. I can't do that. No, well, we're going to be fine anyways without it. So, da -da -da. she should join the live stream. Her internet is not good enough to join any live streams. She's living on the countryside. There is no good internet. So. Another thing from my mom, apart from the call that she just gave me and broke off and I lost a couple of people watching, which was sad. Mm, hopefully they come back. Um, is here. Ooh! Da, da, da. More things to make me fat. Da, da. There we go. Chocolate Domino Stones. Da, la, 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 la. Which means... Um, cho domino Stones are a really interesting sweet that you get in winter in Germany. So it's one layer... Uh, it's one layer of chocolate, then it's one layer of gingerbread, then it's one layer of marzipan, which is like an almond paste, and then it's like all coated in chocolate. And you know what? Until recently, I didn't really like them that much. Oh, there's also a layer of jelly in there. It's like loads of layers, and you bite into it, and it has all the layers. It's so good. It's mind-blowing good German winter sweet goodiness. And you know what? The weirdest thing is, the nicest sweets that Germany does we do in winter, we do for Christmas. It's because our winters are so cold and so hard that people just go like, in order to survive this, we need loads of loads of lovely goody sugarness. So that's how Germans survive, survive the winter. I have the feeling, the more I'm unboxing this parcel, the more German comes out of my, my dialect. I'm certainly speaking with a very German dialect and that's not, <laughs> it's not even purpose. So that happened. So. The cat pillow looks like it wants chocolate. It does, doesn't it? Yum, 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 yum. Is there any decent chocolate in Japan? Not really. Most of the good chocolate is actually from abroad because Japanese chocolate melts too easy in summer. Um, they Their chocolate is not as creamy, so they have less milk content. So it doesn't melt as quickly, but it doesn't also taste as nice, to be honest. Even Japanese people tell me that. Um, so yeah. Oh, allergic to cinnamon and gingerbread. That's too bad. Uh, Mama Cat must think you're getting too thin. Yes, she is. She's she, she always makes comments about that I'm getting too thin. To be honest, this year I was the thinnest ever. Around summertime, I lost a lot of weight and that wasn't very healthy. So, <laughs> that wasn't good. So yeah, I have a reason to eat now to make it through winter. Uh, best chocolate is Ghana. Ghana chocolate is okay, but I still prefer European chocolate, to be honest. Magst du Baumkuchen? Of course, I love Baumkuchen. So... Let's see what else is in this parcel. Oh, yes, that is actually one thing I requested. <laughs> and you will be surprised that this one actually doesn't exist in the kind of same style in Japan. It's a, ta -da! another hot water bottle. And you're like super underwhelmed right now, I can see this. But actually the reason is in Japan, they have hot water bottles, but they're not like this. They're like round and hard. And then they have a little thing on the top. They look like, um, like a flat hat. 
<laughs> it's like a flat hat, just that it's hard. And then you have a, a little valve on the top that you open and you put water in, you close it, and then you... It's really hard, I don't understand. It's like really rock hard plastic. That's the Japanese type of hot water bottle that you get here in Japan. And I don't find them really good because obviously it's nothing you can cuddle with. It's like clunk. Uh, the Japanese ones like clunk hard. You're apparently supposed to put that in and then put that in your bed to warm up your bed so you can then, you know, have warm feet when you go into bed. Understand that. But I like to cuddle stuff and I like to like hug stuff when I sleep. And that's why my current hot water bottle is this one here. But unfortunately, I got a cheap version and it smells bad. Like it smells of plastic. Like if you could smell that, smell this unicorn, I'm a smelly unicorn, it, it's not as nice to be honest. So yeah, but yeah, hot water bottles all the way, they're gonna keep me for winter. So she just sent me a hot water bottle from hers, yay! To keep my keep myself warm. Uh, it's gone quite cold and in my room, and you will be surprised, there is no heating in Japan, generally. In Tokyo, the general house doesn't have a heater, there's only an air conditioning which blows out hot air. Once you stop it, it's instantly cold. Uh, if you also heat with the air conditioning, you will get very, very cold in Japan in the winter, but you'll, because once it's off, the room is instantly cold. There is no heating the room as such, you're just blowing out hot air. It's like a hairdryer. Once you switch off the hairdryer, the room is cold. Also, another thing is if you keep the air conditioning on for heating your room, it dries out the air so much that Literally, you'll feel your lips dr drying, you feel your skin drying. So that's why you then need another another thing to kind of keep the humidity in the room going. Uh, and it's, it's like a vicious circle. So I'm trying to heat with it as little as possible at this point in time. My, my hot water bottles are going to keep me through winter, but I'll see how it goes for the rest. So, and you're writing so many comments. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm chatting away here then. Okay, you have three, three warmies. Ein Einhorn, ein Kuh, ein Elefant und ein Igel. Why is that room so blue? I think it's it's my lighting. I don't know. I tried to, when I put the cat in front of the screen, it didn't look so blue for a moment. Look, magic. I think my camera has a problem with the white balance. Uh, the heat in Japan is, doesn't make sense. Well, in the Hokkaido, in, J uh, in the north of Japan, there is central heating. While in Tokyo, there is generally no central heating. So, good luck. <laughs> You'll need some kind of electric heating. Some people like to heat with little gas ovens. But I find I'm very scared of using gas, like literally they pump gas into the oven and then they heat up with that. I don't touch that. I'm really scared of that. <laughs> like it's like, no, it's not happening. Also, you know me already, you know I buy a lot of dresses and lots of stuff. So fire hazard, hello. So no, anyway, so there we go. Wizard all under in the winter doesn't get cold like in Germany. Seriously, if you live in a really hot country right now, I'm so jealous. I miss the heat. Tokyo in winter, it makes it so cold because the rooms are so cold. So, mm, not so, not so nice. So, anyways, so, hot water bottle. S survival goods, survival goods to make it through winter. Haha, <laughs> I couldn't do it with the non-earth plugs that worry me. Yeah, Miss Paula, underfloor heating at home. I'm so jealous. Oh, I have no kotatsu, they're expensive. I haven't bought myself a kotatsu, it's like a heating table. Cats and allgemein sind immer gut. Yeah, if I had a cat, that'd be great. But at the same time, it'd be probably quite lethal for me as well. Oh, you don't know yet, do you? Kittens. There is a big thing. I love cats. I love cats so, so much. I could cuddle them all the time. But Cassie Cat has a cat allergy! <laughs> ever <laughs> so I want to come and catch and, and cuddle the kids but I can't because I'm so allergic <laughs> I know <laughs> it's like no it's like I wish it would have a cat I would have a cat all the time I would cu cuddle it I would hack it I would kiss it but yeah I can't cat allergy voice cat allergy I wish one day I will meet a cat that I'm not allergic to because it's gonna get treated so well for for its entire life. <sighs> you can't take an allergic shot. Uh, shot. They don't really do that in Japan. If they do, it is very expensive. So yeah. Hmm. Cats, buy yourself a baby bear to cuddle with. Well, I have a uni unicorn right now to cuddle with. <laughs> that has to do for now. Also, having a pet in Japan, many places don't allow you to keep pets. So I might have to go without a cat. 
<laughs> yes, I love cats and my body hates them and so allergic to them. <laughs> Said the unicorn. Yeah, that's how that's appalling what the unicorn says. There's still loads more stuff on this parcel here on my on my on my lap. I think we should uh, we should check out the other stuff. Check out the other stuff. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So a swing cat, they have no hair. The problem is you're not allergic to the hair of cats, you're apparently allergic to the the skin, uh, the little bits of skin that come off that you breathe in. <laughs> Hypoallergenic cats, yes. Once I have money, I will I shall get that. <sighs> money. Anyways. <laughs> da, 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 da. One more thing that I got here. Oh, it's not 100% German, but it's from a German-speaking country. So we have lit chocolate. <gasps> lit chocolate. Oh, oh, oh. I have the the, the problem. I think this lint chocolate is not going to survive November. It's probably not even going to survive next week. <laughs> it's just not going to survive very long at all. Lint chocolate. Very, very lovely. Melts in your tongue. So good. Mm, Lynn chocolate. You know what? Last time when I had the um, the English the UK live stream with Carol's pre Carol's presents and I ate the Maltesers, I finished the whole Malteser pack. It like like that. I miss UK sweets. It just went boom. But it was gone. So yeah, that is the chocolate I got. Let's see what else. Delicious chocolate. I've seen you before in Harajuku. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Did you say come and say hi to me? Because you should have come and say hi to me. This week, actually very exciting. Uh, I had people to meet me from... I had people meet me from Malaysia, from Vietnam, also from France, and from Honolulu. There was a girl from Honolulu who was 12 years old. She was there with her mom and she came and said hi and made my day. She was so cute. So seriously, if you are in Harajuku and you see me, come say hi. If you see me like with another person, like with my friend still, come say hi. If you see me filming, then wait until the interview's over and then still come say hi. Very important. Like literally, I want to meet you all. I want to say hi to you all. Don't be shy. Talk with me. I love meeting you guys. So, Kathy Cat, you need a post box. I wanted to send you love. Oh, I want to have a post box. Wow, two cats and a sheep dog. That's cool. Tigris and Coco. How do you stay in such a in such good shape from eating so much chocolate? I I probably won't if I eat all of that chocolate. Mm. Most of the chocolate I'd eat is stolen from little children during Halloween. <laughs> hey, Professor Evan, Professor, you have always a good sense of humor. Nice for I say for you to stop by. Leider wohne ich in Deutschland. Maltesers are sugar bombs. Oh yes, they are. I ate all of them. Three packs of celebrations and miniature heroes for ten. Pounds. Who's jealous? I'm jealous. I love Shebas. Yes, so we're all talking about sweets now. It's nice. I am joined to do this. So, next thing here. Da -da -da -da. My mom knows me so well. Da -da. Ah! It's chocolate bears. Oh, I thought they were chocolate mice. Hmm. So, there is a brand, Kinder Chocolate. You probably know, some people know it's Kinder Chocolate. And they have a thing called Kinder Sugar Bombs, which is like little chocolate bonbons. Uh, that you eat in Germany and there's like this is like the cheap version of it it's like the off-brand version of it and I thought it was mice but apparently it's little bears and it's called milk friends so we're not stealing from kinder milk bonbons we're calling them kinder milk friends we like the cheap version uh, <laughs> hazelnuts hazelnuts I'm still okay with don't worry guys <laughs> there was this moment so yeah, these ones are nice. Oh, Kinder Hippos are nice. Kinder Bueno is nice. Pretty much everything that Kinder brings out is so nice. Mm, Kinder Bueno is so good. Every time I go home, I try to eat Kinder Milk Bars. And it's like a wedge of like... What's the word? It's like a sponge. And then it's like a milk cream paste. And it's a sponge again. And you have to keep them in the fridge. So I can never bring them back to Japan. So it's one of some of the things that I can't even get sent. Because they don't exist in Japan at all. Also because the room is blue again, we need to catch it again to switch it to orange. Ha! There we go, it's magic. It's magic. I don't know why that happens. <laughs> that's, that's that's your power, that's your kitten power here. Yeah, Mishnitte, exactly, that's the one I like. Uh, <laughs> chocolate now. I know, I'm so sorry. Everything here, I'm talking about chocolate so much. Ooh, there's one more thing. Oh, <laughs> my mom knows what I love. There's more of the domino stones. The other ones I told you about, they have like... Uh, almond and gingerbread and jelly all in chocolate so good 
cannot eat too much chocolate, get sick, or probably will get sick if I eat all of this. <sighs> I just posted a pic of my latest kitten on your Twitter page. Ooh, that's so cute. cute. Nico Nico Power. Wie viel Uhr ist es gerade in Japan? In Japan, it is currently 23.31 o'clock, and I'm probably too light for my nails. Did I had my work cut out? Did I miss? Did I kiss something? Did you kiss something? <laughs> Go for it. So yeah, that's more more sweets here. Ah, what do we go for next? What shall we go for next? We soon said can all picks to Kathy, all cat picks to Kathy. I love cats. Mm. Also, we need more magic. Kitchen magic! And the room is orange again. How does that even work? <sighs> There's a couple of things I need to talk with you about once I unbox this as well. So, da, 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 da. one more thing. <laughs> There is a chocolate called Rittersport, which is the one that I have here. And usually it's like, it's tiny. Or you have like the normal size, which is like this. But my mom gave me huge size to make sure I get enough fat to make it for winter. I think. So that's white chocolate and crisps, because actually my favorite type of chocolate is white chocolate. Or just very, very creamy rich chocolate. So that is another lovely thing. If you see Rittersport, they're really good. And the fun thing is, I actually have to do this for the video, especially because like I got so many likes right now as well. I'm going to show you now. This chocolate here, this German chocolate, has a special way of opening it. And I think it's such a clever idea. Uh, if you've never seen Rettersport chocolates, you should just get it for the way of opening it. It's actually really fun. So you see, it's it's a square. You're not, a, you're not supposed to open it here on the side. You're not a lot supposed to rip it up, up at the top. They have a special way of opening this. Can you see this perforation here? So what you do is you hold it on both sides. Are you ready for this? You hold it on both sides and then you, you flip it open like this. I hope I can show you this. So you go three, two, one. Hopefully this is working now. This is one of those moments when it doesn't work because it's on camera. Oh God, the chocolate is so thick. It's really hard for me to break it. One second, I need to do that. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna do this, so okay now. Three, two, one. And then you open it here. And then you can see like the bars of chocolate like right here lined up like that and oh this looks so good and crunchy oh and it smells so good so that's how you actually enjoy this kind of chocolate and it's really funny because you kind of go close it back up like this open it like this very original that's like their branding that they do also if you should ever get to munich station uh, and go down a certain set of stairs all the stairs look like like this like these chocolate bars just layered like this Oh. Mm. I think I have to have one of those now. I can't. I can't resist any longer. I can't. No. No. I need to eat the chocolate now. I'm sorry, guys. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Captain America chops woods. Kathy Cat chops chocolate. Yeah, I do. <laughs> My problem with chocolate is that is that once it opens, it winds up devouring it. Right? Like, look. I got this one here from my friend Murga, and I opened that one and. It's already lots of it gone. Where did it go? Chocolate. It's chocolate. So anyways, so that was the, the large bar of white German chocolate that I got from Germany. But there is more stuff in this German care parcel. It's, it's never, it's almost never ending. Okay, next thing is shocking. Nicely wrapped. Da, 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 da. What do you think that is? <laughs> Everyone's saying that chocolate is going. Chocolate can disappear. It has a magic power to disappear. Da, da, da. Yes! It's squeezy here. It's honey, honey, honey. Good. Hornig. Yes, someone who knows the German for it. Da, da, da. Good job, guys. You're right. You're right. It's honey. Uh, and it's apparently squeezy honey. And it's called Flottebine, which means... Oh, <laughs> English is losing me. It's like a, a, a fast, a fast bumblebee. Not bumblebee. Bee. The speedy bee. It's probably the speedy bee. So that's the speedy bee. 
But the special thing is, it's only from Linde. Linde, what's Linde? German's in there. Linde, what's that in English? Linde. Lindenhornig. Linde, it's a type of tree. It's a certain type of tree. Haha. <laughs> you are, you are a flottebine. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, lint trees. Is that the same in English? Linde? Lint trees? So is lint tree honey then, in this case? Um... And as, as I can feel, I can actually do with a little bit of that right now in my honey, in uh, my tea. I usually have loads of squeezy honey in my tea, and honey in Japan is expensive. What you shouldn't generally do is like get cheap honey in Japan, because that's usually fabricated somewhere in China where the food standards aren't as high. So I usually try to get European honey, uh, for example, from Hungary and stuff, and it's so expensive. So that's why my mom sends me honey. Let me have a little sip of my tea. Yeah, crystallizer when it gets too cold and you can't squeeze it, or unless you go for them really quickly. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> you like Manuka honey? Manuka honey is like Manuka honey is like the brand item between all of the honeys. I just realized that recently, but Manuka honey that goes like easily for four thousand yen, a tiny tub because it's so expensive and so high in quality. Oh. So yeah, oh, I just buy German honey. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, people like apparently hung Hungarian Hungarian honey is very good, and Manuka honey I get everything from Canada if I need it. But I use Manuka honey no usually when I really need it. <clears throat> so, it's not oil. No, it's not alikin. No, it's not. So one question. <laughs> Still exists good butter there in Japan. Very expensive butter is there. I do have a sweet tooth. I have it in san Honey with your coffee? It's the first time I heard someone having honey with coffee. Ha ha, we're safe. No oil. <laughs> oh, now I understand what you're talking about. Yes, there is no oil and it didn't get over all things. And there's no blood and there are no scars and there are no shards. Now I, I now understand what Alakin was talking about. <laughs> so yeah. Honey. There we go. Is it cold air in Japan? It's... Five, de five degrees in Germany? Brrr. No, we had 14 today, but that's still pretty cold because it's pretty much the same temperature as my room right now. Ooh. Ooh. Minus two tonight, it's so cold. So, next thing we have here out of the parcel, what are you actually? By the appointment of the Royal Danish Court, well, that is not German, we have Anton Berg, which is then again very, Anton Berg, which again sounds very German. Plum I Madeira, Plum on Madeira? That looks... <gasps> Anton Berg! I remember this. It's like Danish and it's really expensive, but it's actually super nice. Look at the nice purple of it. Hmm. Ho, ho, ho. Does anyone have this in your country? Blom Madeira Plum. I remember this is some kind of brand stuff. Ooh, that's not like my mom just sent me like expensive brand stuff. Oh, she must have spent so much money on me. To... Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, mom. Uh, I hope I can see her. I want to go and hug my mom now. Um, so <laughs> Look at me. Already a couple of people leaving the chat and I'm just like, oh, you're so soppy. Uh, by the way, thank you very much for 63 thumbs up. <laughs> so, that's one more thing. Final thing in my parcel. Are we ready for the final thing, guys? Are we ready for the final thing? Are we ready? Are we ready? <laughs> Last thing in my parcel is the reason why this parcel is actually so heavy. Also, let's switch the screen back to orange color because that's nicer. I think my camera has a problem with white balance right now. Right, kitty? Right. Mulled wine, born ready, ready. Okay, first of all, I'd like you to guess what's, what the last item is. It is very heavy and mulled wine was pretty close. So, guess guys, guess. What is the last item in my parcel? Let's see the next, I'm gonna read out the next uh, 10, 15 posts. Bread. <laughs> Shoes. A huge piece of chocolate. <laughs> More chocolate. Beer. Punch. Glühwein. Drumming intensifies. Chocolate. No internet. Stones. Glühwein. Liquor. Bread. <laughs> Hello from Israel. A cat. <laughs> Glühwein. Vollkornbrot. Beer. Baileys. Mm, whiskey. <laughs> and Zakatoffe. <laughs> Kawaii refill. <laughs> Chocolate fountain bread is good. Okay, okay. Actually, so it is super heavy. And it's this. 
And it's actually, you know, remember how my mom kept saying uh, I should stay healthy? And uh, what she usually does is she sends me vitamins. Look at vitamins. Da, 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 da. This one's here. And it's like, it's like, it's a, I think it's a German company. I couldn't even explain what it is. I think you can't even order this normally. It usually goes like, it's almost like, you know, when you, when you have a Hoover and you can only get that Hoover over that company. It's like a complicated way of getting hold of this one, but it's like liquid vitamins. And I, <laughs> I was always a very sickless child. So my mom always gave me some vitamin, what is it? Substitutes? Supplements? Supplements. That's the English word. So supplements uh, to make it for winter. Um, so this is like vitamin supplements and has like loads of vitamins in there. It's like C, E, B, B1, B2, B6, B12, D, and then it's like iron, zinc, and whatever else. So it's like a pack when you have like a little bit, you mix that with water and you drink it. And to be honest, when I have this regularly, I usually don't get sick. So that's the only thing that helped me to stay healthy and like strong and stuff for winter. And these ones are kind of expensive and this, obviously this bottle is heavy. So I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you so much, mom, to have this. So, um, because quite a lot uh, of people right now in Tokyo are sick. And I had to restrain myself t to write comments on Twitter about people being sick and just coughing. Like, you know, if you, if you cough, that's totally fine. But people, in they just cough like this. <laughs> and I was like, that's so rude. Don't do that. You're just going to pass it on to everyone else. I don't know why they're doing that. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I'm trying to stay healthy. So one thing, if you are coming to Japan and it's winter and quite a lot of people are sick, A, face masks. B, once you get into your home, wherever that is, wash your hands and then gargle with water. If you can have us like lukewarm water, best thing because seriously even though I'm losing my voice a little bit everyone right now is sick and they're coughing at you and your body will not be used to that kind of cold you might be used to the Chilean cold or the 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 American cold but it's a different strands of virus usually here so if you you're more liable to actually get sick from that so that's another thing so germs everywhere I know eat some ginger add it to your tea I'm doing that all the time right now so yeah try to try to stay healthy when you come to Japan what I see most foreigners that come here for a year if you work here and uh, they will in their first year go through loads and loads of colds because the body the immune system doesn't know these colds yet so the first year is really bad especially if you're teaching kids uh, many foreigners come to Japan and they teach kids at first and because the kids usually catch every germ and virus and you know <laughs> they're usually pretty strong most of the foreigners get that as well Yes, that's the picky. So stay healthy. Um, so yeah, vitamins. That's what I got vitamins to get me through this winter. So if I take this tonight, hopefully my throat will be better by tomorrow because I can feel my voice going. You know, at the beginning of this of this little live stream, me and the kitty, we were a bit more cheerful. But I'm losing my voice a little bit, so I might have to be a bit careful that I have to sell my voice at the end of this live stream. So uh, my voice is going to be a bit more relaxed now. There's we gotta be had the whoa with the excitement and now we're coming down to the chill out time. So let's get your cups of tea ready. Let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So these were a couple of things that were in my German care parcel. Guys, let me know what items you cannot live without in your country. I'd like to see that. So right now, go. Next come a couple of comments I'm gonna read out. So let me know what item from your country you cannot live without. Let's go for it. <laughs> yes, lozenges for the neck. Where did my neck lozenges go? <laughs> I think what my mom did is she packed it, then it was too heavy, and then she had to take the neck lozenges out again. Oh, Stockriesen, cheese, caviar, my music, pasta. Yay, pasta! Oh, you cannot live without Kathy Cat. Oh, I like it. I'm not from your country, though. <laughs> so what item from your country can you not live without, guys? Internet music, oranges, coffee, glued vine. Cheese, yes, I miss cheese in Japan. There's no good cheese here. Oh, it's very pricey. Nutella, Roggenbrot, Reses, cheese, Döner, beer, cats, Spekulatis. There are cats in Japan. <laughs> beer, you cannot live without the internet in Silicon Valley, California. Can't live without my books. Pika Pako Goid, gingerbread cookies. Espanzote, a cooking herb. Milky food, Lebkuchen Döner. <laughs> it's running locally made moonshine? 
Locally made moonshine? Is that the brand or is that moonshine? Dinner, pizza, Chicago, pizza. Uh, cats, count as items, I guess. Peanuts, butter, knudel, cheese, Nutella, Christmas, coffee. Cannot live without empanada. Oh, you made a, you all have interesting things that you can't live without air conditioning you have in Japan. Um, okay, guys, think of items that you can only get in your country. Uh, there is air conditioning here and there are cats here. Think of items that you can only get in your country that you'll miss if you should ever go abroad. Like, for example, in Japan. I'm curious about that. So, Kweso uh, Ksanakta. I know, hard to read. It's very hard to read. Um, lemon and honey. Döner, oh god, I miss döner. Döner is good, but you can get döner in Japan. They're very good döner kebabs here in Japan. Lebkuchen, döner, pizza? That does sound like an interesting business idea. Pretzels, oh god, I miss pretzels. Pizza? Mm hmm. Uh, and paradise, like gyoza, oh nice. Danish bacon, white tea, österreichische Sprache, kebab, <laughs> German humor, <laughs> crossed out. Mm, check it, bread. Oh no, you're not trying to guess. I'm just listening to everyone what you can't live without in your country. What like from what thing from your country you cannot live without. There you go. Toothpaste with fluoride. Interesting. Oh, I needed that to soothe my throat. So yeah, that was my care parcel from Germany. Guys, uh, if uh, there was a care parcel that I could send out to everyone, I would hereby, I'll send you my care parcel of love from Tokyo. Beyond. There you go. Receive it. Take the care parcel. Open it. Give it a hug. There you go. All, all my love goes out to you guys. <laughs> and now we're all sick. Why well, you're all sick? I'm not sick. I hope I'm not sick. I told you at the start of this video, my throat was fine. Maybe I was just shouting too much. I do tend to shout a little bit when I do my videos. It's probably why the neighbor was knocking the other day. Ooh, my love is my love is, has arrived at yours. <laughs> Hugs to you, cat. Hugs to you too, comic book guy. That's zombie Kathy. There's a zombie Kathy. Can't resell love. Can't resell love, Kathy cat. And love beam is blinding. Accept it. Send your mom some Kit Kats from Japan. She doesn't eat so many sweets. I sometimes have the feeling she gets sweets and then she gives them to me <laughs> so she doesn't have to eat them. Moi moi ken! Hugs! Oh! Five star! Wee oui, wee! Oui. How is Japan? Japan is good! Hola! So yeah, I hope you got my you got my love sent to you. Uh, so yeah, got my love sent from my mom to me. It's the first time I actually unboxed one of her care, care parcels. I do get her parcel, care parcels from time to time. I'm really, really happy whenever I get one. And this time I wanted to share it with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed me sharing it with you too. So, let's run it up here because I'm losing my voice a little bit. and Which I'm surprised about because I was fine by the beginning of the evening. But maybe I'm just having too much. Anyways. Kittens, guess what? There was no blood. There was no no injury this time. There was no oil this time. So it wasn't like a kind of adult movie this time. <laughs> yep. Thank you so much for watching, kittens. Um, thank you so much for sharing your evening with me, kittens. Um, NHK World, meet you all. Arigatouzaimasu. Hey, hola. Love you, Kathy. Hooray. No explosions. Gute Nacht. So yeah, I wish you a lovely evening or a lovely day because I know in certain countries there is still daytime. Thank you so much for your time. I know I'm not taking this for granted that you actually took your time to come and, and watch my live stream and spend time with me. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your comments. Um, and I, I love how you guys are commenting on each other comments. That seems like a really good thing going on there. I will put up this live stream after it's uh, it's over so if you missed a part of it it's still there so you can maybe put it somewhere back in the background and just listen to it later if you feel like doing that that'd be nice and uh, thank you very much for all your likes you left me lots of likes i'm really happy for all the likes that i got as well uh made me very very happy and uh, yeah and it's great to see so many people from so many countries coming together uh letting us know uh what they like where you're from uh, so yeah, I hope you have a really great weekend as well. Uh, I hope some exciting things are happening to you. Uh, I do have something lined up this weekend, especially on Sunday. If I'm allowed to, then I'll probably try and put uh, Instagram stories about it up. 
but I uh, know in the place itself it's a bit hard to film so if you have Instagram be sure to follow my Instagram so you can see what's happening on Instagram stories today I put up Instagram stories because I was at the Utena exhibition that is only for four days here in Tokyo right now so I just put lots of pictures up so if you're curious about that one find me on my Instagram shameless plug shameless plug yes I know <laughs> so I wish you a lovely evening if you are in my time zone. I wish you a lovely rest of your day if you are in a different time zone. Oh, I can see all your goodbye comments. So bye bye, Kathy. Make sure you get some honey for your throat. I'll try so. And yeah, I wish you a lovely evening. So I'm gonna read the next couple of comments and I'm gonna switch off. So let's see what everyone's saying. Oh yes, I mean aside. Poi, I will. Bye. Bye bye, Kathy. I hope you get some lungs before his throat. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend too. Kisses. From Twinkle Lady, Poi, sleep tight, off ears in Kathy Cat, drink drink water, I should good night, thank you, Matane. Peppermint tea is good for a sore throat. I don't have any, I'm afraid. Love how I can live with that vicariously through your life. Yay! Bye, Kathy Sama. Oh, Alekin. Get feeling better. Bye bye, good night, good night. Tschüss, gute Nacht. Uh, please stay sweet and have a great weekend. Have a good night. Bye. Kathy Cat, Zs, we love you. Bye bye, Kathy, I love you. You are the best. Thank you, Chris. Good night. Okay, that's it from Tokyo tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wish you a lovely time. Thank you all for your love, and I hope I catch you soon for another video on my channel. Oh yes, me schlaf schön. Itzemade mo nihon ni itene. I hope I read that right. <laughs> Did I read that right? My kata schnurrt während wir YouTube schauen. Very nice. So, get in. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget, have a lovely weekend and. Do what you love, love what you do. Bye guys, bye bye. <laughs> See you, and thanks for the likes. Thank you, bye bye. Bye. Where I can't switch. That's terribly. That's so me right now. Kind of. Oh, there we go.